Hello and welcome to another edition of the Assemblies of God Head Office Diaries. It's always a pleasure to bring to you updates from this site. Thank you so far for the support you've given. Thank you for the love you've shown. Thank you for your acts of service. We want to say God bless every one of you who has paid attention to pray. Pray for the work in this house. Pray for the general superintendent and the entire team. God bless all of you for so much support you have given to us. Now, today we're going to be giving you updates of the works that are currently ongoing on this site, how that the funds, the support you've given, how far we have been able to go with it. We want to say, come along with us. Let's show you exactly what is happening on this site. Shall we roll it? God bless you all. Thank you. All right, we are here now. Let's walk through as I show you the updates. Okay, exactly. There are a lot of changes here. I have observed a lot myself. If you remember carefully, where I'm stepping or the floor for the stairway were not tiled at the time. But they have all been tiled and with some uh, fittings at the edges. <laughs> I'm not sure I have the right names for them, but they are all tiled now, clearly tiled. Okay, the plasterboard for this section, I can see has also been fitted. And that is fitted for this particular section. Good, I can see something on fire. Now, for now, I feel a little even safer. Can you imagine that the fire hydrant, okay, this is the fire hose cabinet. The fire hose cabinet has been fitted on this floor. I feel even safer now. Man, this is cool. Okay, that's the fire hose cabinet. Another change I have observed here is the lift on this section has been fitted with the doors now. Okay, so that's the door for the lift. And uh, I'm sure the consultant will tell us more of what is in behind this, but I think that's it, it's completely done now. So on this floor, these are some major changes I have observed. Okay, all right, so we are here now. Okay, I see every tile I've been fitted now, so this place is completely well tiled. I see that. Everything in this place is completely well, 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 well tiled. Okay, let me go ahead and, okay, I like the color of the brown. It's quite beautiful. I'm sure when they grout and polish, it will look nicer. Okay, uh, there's an inner room there, but let's look at the side. Okay, for here, I see electricals have been done and the plasterboard for the ceiling has also been done. That's good. Okay, tiling on the side walls of the bathrooms are completely done. Okay, tiling for the walls are completely done. I can see that on the floor too, only a section where the drainage is have not yet been done. Okay, that's done here. And in this other section too, the ceiling, the plaster board for the ceiling has also been done. So that means the plaster board for the bathroom section have all been done here. And on the floor, yes, the side walls, the tiles are done. Okay, I only see a short side which is not done yet. Okay, good. All the side tilings for the walls are done. Let's go out to the next section. Beautiful. Good. This work looks very interesting. <laughs> okay. All right, I see that they have also covered the lower section of the cutting wall with some silver sheets. Great. All right, we're going all the way up. Join me, let's go up. Good. Like I said earlier, the tiles on the stair area or the stair area is completely done. It feels good to work on this. Feels good. Right, we are on this particular floor. That's the second floor. Okay, what's new? I'm searching for it for you. I'm going to show you. Let's go to the guest house. Okay, okay. So like the, 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 the lift, the lift is also completely fitted on this side. All right, for this side, we don't have the hydrant yet. It will come in. Okay. All right, this section too has all the tiles on the floor done. That's good. I want to take you to the guest house section and see you for yourself, okay? All right. Some works are going on here for the ceiling boards. I see that they are coming in. All right, this is where I wanted to come to. Oh, take note of this. Can you see that 
the window frame and the door frame have all been fitted for this section. That's really nice. We're just closing in quick. Okay, right, let's go this way. Right, hi. And for this section, I see clearly on the floor, all the tiles, the tile work have been done. All the tile works here are done. I love what I see. Beautiful. Good. Okay. All right, we are into the wing where we have the guest house. Once again, these I already showed you. These have been done already. Let me see what's new. Good. Okay, so we are in the guest house section and I'm showing you a little more what has been done here. For the ceiling boards, I showed you the other time, but I think now they have applied the treatment or the POP material, the potting, the potting material. Yeah, they've applied it and that's good. So, oh, okay, every single room is now covered. Now there's something out there I want to show you. Let's see. Right. Okay, in our previous edition, we did not have this section installed, but here we are. The frame for the door and the side windows have all been fitted. So these are the access to the corridor and also outside. So to a small balcony outside. Right. Okay, so this is currently done. Beautiful. Okay, for here. Okay, same old thing. Not much. Okay, but treatment have been done on the ceiling. Now it's completely covered, cleaned up. I'm sure it's ready for painting. Is this probably a service area? Okay, not sure. But this is completely covered, nicely smoothened out. I'm sure it's ready for painting or any other designs. That's, that's beautiful. And in the bathroom, I see something unique. The floor tiling has been nicely done. And this color is quite beautiful. It almost looks like a cemented color. But the wall tiles are also done. The eye flash is now very clear. With a white tiling on the wall. Some plumbing fittings also there. Okay, beautiful. That is the bathroom. Okay. Right. So let's take a look at the balcony. Okay. The balcony, I have tiles already done on the floor. I'm sure it's like, not I'm sure, I know the, you have to do the balustrade, whatever it is, to protect you from falling off. Okay now, so let's take a look out here and see some basic changes out there. In our previous video, if you realize that the car park was done halfway, but if you look carefully, they have extended towards this section of the building and is now meeting the other section of the building. So work is currently ongoing, so that whole area has been done. Wow, that's quite fast. So, aha, uh -huh. that's where the guys are working. You see that that whole section is done and is meeting the structure down. Out here, can you look at the building carefully? If you look on the building, the far wing, the far left wing has been plastered. Following it is an area that has been covered with, what do you call that? Is that stone tiles or something? It's nicely done. It looks pretty good from here. Cladding on the walls. These are stone claddings, just like tiles. Beautifully done on the wall. It goes all the way from that floor to the very top. Right, beautiful. So these are some of the updates from out here. Let's get back in. I just wanted to show you something out there. Let's get back in and see for ourselves further updates. What is going on in here? Right. Okay, we're going to walk all the way to the very last floor where we have the conference room and see for ourselves some updates up there. So, this time around, we're going to use this wing and go all the way up. The glazing on this side of the building has also been done, and I can feel it myself. Wow. <laughs> okay, we probably are on the very final floor. Excellent. So let me show you to the conference room. We have previously been here. 
Oh, yeah. Pretty good. What do we have here? Oh, nice. So it's clear to me that the entire floor tile work is done. That's beautiful. Beautiful. OK, up there I can see the electrical piping and the electrical wires have also been done there. They are all dropping off from the top. It's electrical wiring. OK. OK, so much more happening here. But I think air conditioning pipes, I had showed you that already. But this is beautiful. The whole floor completely tiled. And the walls are ready for final painting. We've done a lot on the walls. And this is the conference room at the very top of the building. Ha! Ah, I feel the breeze in here. <laughs> OK, and I can see a lot of buildings out there. OK, guys, so let's, let's roll it. I'll show you more here. Let's roll it. OK, right, so right here, all the tiles on the floor has also been done here. That's good. That's good. I, let me explain. I'm at the very top of the building, the very last floor of the building. And so a lot has gone on here on the very last floor. That's pretty good. From the conference room, here I am on the very last floor. Now, I'm going to the rooftop to show you a little on the rooftop. A lot of stuff have gone on there, I'm told. Let's see. OK, some changes happening. Oh. Where is the access? OK. On this section, we have activities going on. OK, this is where they are receiving materials. So probably that's why a lot has not been done here. But the tiles on the other section have all been done. The tiles here have been done. But this is where they are receiving materials to continue their work. And that's the hoist, electric hoist. Great, 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 great. OK. All right. So at the very top of this section, so you can see the control system for the lift. So this is the second lift which was fitted and it's nicely done. It's obvious. Everybody take a look. <laughs> the second lift is done. All right, I'm going to take you up all the way to the very top. Please, hmm, we'd have to tread cautiously, guys. Let's go. Tread cautiously. Come up carefully. Whew. Okay, gentle steps. All right. Whew. <laughs> that was quite tiring, but it's okay. We are at the very top of the building. I feel sandy. <laughs> How come there's so much sand? All right, let me tell you. I was told that this is a way of soundproofing the top. So they've segmented the area, filled it with sand, and after this, they'll be casting concrete on it. This is supposed to be an area for events, an area for events on the very rooftop. So when there are events here, you don't want sound going down to other people working there. So I'm told they have done this for the purpose of soundproofing. So that's it. And here you have a section. They have done power here. The information I have is clear that this will be where people will sit in for sound management, a DJ and all that. So his power supply has been made available. On this very top also, there's a little plumbing work done here. This plumbing work is supposed to help um, take care of waste wa washing of your hands and all that. So there will be some wash hand basins and all that there, helping you to wash. And so with the events, you can just wash your hand and get all that done. So this whole top is done with the soundproofing. And that's it. That's why it's Sunday. So I am hoping that by the next time we come here, this whole place will be covered up. OK, something I observe is the piping for the air conditioning. I see that a lot of pipes have come out there. So certainly, that will be the, um, the outdoor units will be somewhere there to give some air conditioning input to the building. All right. Let's see here if we have anything. OK. Yes, please come along. I observe carefully they have temporarily made some provision for water. Yes. So this is the water section where we have two tanks. Yes, all these connections you have are provisional. 
to allow for them to have access to water, run through the pipes and help them do some work. So these are tanks for water storage, mostly backup because there is water in this particular vicinity. So mostly backup. These are two tanks. All right, let me go show you the other tank area. Okay, today it is raining, uh, probably drizzling. So let me show you more on the storage tanks on this section, shall we? Oh yes, here we are. We have another set of water tanks here, um, two of them. I'm sure there'll be more coming because there's probably another tank base right there. Um, so that's uh, some of the tanks here. Wow, okay, that's quite big. Very big pipes. Um, let me see, what else do we have here? I'm going to climb, Oop. oh yeah. Okay, so, oh. Really nice. Can I do this myself? Okay. What we have here are the pumps. The water pumps that will be doing the pumping. I'm sure. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's it. From DAP. They are not yet connected, but those are the pumps that will be taking care of pumping water to this floor. Good. I'm sure when they fit it, I will show you a little more in operation. Okay, let me gently get this back. Wow, great installation. Right. So right from the top here, right from the top here, I see a lot of work completed here. Um, I'm told later they'll be doing some other work here. When it is done, we will be showing you. All right, so thank you. I am here with the general superintendent who will be telling you more. So Papa, please come. <laughs> You're all welcome again. The general superintendent will be giving us updates of what God has done. They have been through the meeting. They know the details of what you should expect in the next video. So here we have Reverend Professor Paul Frimpo Mansu to give us an update of what is happening and what we should expect. Papa, thank you. Thank you very much, my cherished listeners. First of all, I want to thank all of you for your prayer, support for us at the Just Ended General Council. The Lord blesses and I uh, have been retained with some of our team members to continue the work. Recently, we have also been appointed to lead the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council. And I thank all of you. Coming back to our business, Ebenezer, here too has the Lord help us. Amen. We are now at the finishing touches of this building. And as we have promised, it will be completed by the end of this year. We are only asking for three things. Your prayer, your support in cash, and your cooperation with us. For the details of the work, I will leave you to the technocrats. But for now, I will say that God has been good. Nobody has been hurt. Nobody has been harmed. All our staffs are doing well. The contractors are great. Our consultants are great. Our bankers are in support of us. But we need your prayer. We need your money even more than ever. As, even at this point, we need to buy all the furnishing and the equipment for the guest house, for the kitchen, for the conference hall, and for all these things. It costs for a lot of money. So our pastors, our members, loved ones, come in and support this wealthy cause. We want to thank our media team, Paul and his team. They've been doing a wonderful work. And we want to thank you even for watching and for praying. God bless you. God bless you. Papa, we are most grateful. Thank you. And we pray that God will continue to strengthen you as you serve in your next term as our general superintendent. God Amen. bless you, sir. God bless God you. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Right. That is from the general superintendent. It's a blessing to have him on board. And I also have the head of operations, who is not far from me, Reverend Abraham of Bingham Waku, who will also be giving us updates from his side. So, Reverend, you're welcome. Thank you very much. So, hear him out. Hear him out. Well, thank you very much, Paul, and the media team. Uh, we cannot thank all of you sufficiently for what is going on here because it's been like all of us hands on desk. Even those who are not here, wherever you are, I know you have been on your knees praying for this project. And every time we come here, we see the project lifted from one level to another. We are gradually cruising to the finish line. And I want all of you to go with us so we can all cross the finishing line together. 
to the glory of God. Where we are standing right now is the surface of the car park, the underground car park. They are closing in, you can see. So gradually they are closing. By the next site meeting, which is one, one month from now, they will be almost done closing up all the car park underground. The underground car park, we are told, can take about 100 vehicles. You heard me right, 100 vehicles. And then we can have about 75 to 80 on the surface over here. And so it's a massive work. We want to thank God for giving us leaders who have a vision. And we want all of us to support this vision because it's a great vision. I know that this is not just going to be an edifice where we will come to office and go. But it is going to be the center for missions to the world. From here, missionaries are going to be sent to different parts of Ghana, different parts of Africa, and different parts of the world. That is our vision because we are doing all these things for the sake of the great commission of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so it's just not a monument just to satisfy anybody, but just to make us more able and more uh, enhance, enhancing our ability to be able to advance the kingdom of the Great Commission. And so pray with us as you have always been doing. And for our members, we need the second offering. Our records show that we've gone down a bit. The momentum has gone down. Let's gather the momentum again. Because when you are running a race, it is when you are crossing the finishing line that it becomes difficult. But let's put in more extra effort. Second offering, second Sunday of every month. Let us not forget it. Let's try to honor it. If every local church is bringing the second offering, we'll have enough to be able to finish this. We need a lot of money to do the finishing. You know, after we are finished with even the, the structure itself, we need to put in finishing before we actually dedicate it. Otherwise, to be an empty room, empty building there. But we need to get all the furnishing, the tables, the chairs, the air conditioning, all the conference items. We need to get all those gadgets so that the day we dedicate it to God, it is ready for use. And all the executive conference rooms, all the executive guest houses, we need to equip them with all the, the things that go with them. And so please, we need more money. So let us all be very faithful. So that when the job is finished, we can say we all did it together. Amen. And by the grace of God, we held our hands and we have crossed the finishing line together. God richly bless you. We hope that next time that we come to the site meeting, it will be a better story. Oh, yes. Because we would have covered more grounds. Wow. And would have done more phenomenal things that will make you happy and make me happy. And make God also happy. God bless you. Thank you so much, Reverend. Welcome. It's good to have you. You know, uh, uh, when we say December, it looks very far away. Yes. But December is about three months from now. Yes. October, yes. November, December yes. is actually three months. Yes. yes. So our people need to push a little more. Yes. Push harder. Yes. We are about the finish line. Yes. Three months and we have so much work to do. Yes. Exactly. So Reverend, thank you for the encouragement. Thank you. And I encourage every one of you, let us keep pushing harder. Amen. It's a very limited time. Three months away. We cannot fail. Keep pushing. And I know God will keep blessing. Shalom. God Reverend, thank you. you. Thank you very God much. God bless you. you. All right. God bless you all. I just want to declare the facts. Be aware, we are in the month of September. It's going to be October very soon. It's going to be November very soon. And it will be December, three months away. Let's push this thing out. Let's make it happen. God bless you. Okay, so we have here Sarah. Sarah is the site manager. She would be giving you further details on the technical stuff. So, Sarah. They are your audience. Talk to them. Um, thank you. And it's a pleasure to be here once again, just to give you a brief on what has been done and then what is going to be done before our next, if I should say, video. Uh, currently, we are working on our external stone tiling. Uh, in all, we have six major bays to be done. We are working on our third bay now. and. Because we are done with our concrete works as well, the other three bays can easily be done as well because we can put up our scaffolding on the concrete and then have those bays done. Also with curtain walling, which is, we are looking at the frontage, the front elevation of the building. We are going to do the last bay that we omitted. That bay is also going to be covered with curtain walling. In all, we have eight bays for curtain walling. 
and currently we are working on seven of them so the outstanding one is going to be done also on the rooftop uh, we have some acoustic treatments going on there the technical work has been done now which is uh, I, I wouldn't go much into detail, let me keep it there. Uh, but the major work now that we have to do is the concreting on the rooftop. And that one is to be done before our next meeting. When you come in, uh, let's say a month from now, we are looking at also, we've been given another phase of the car parking to complete, which will be the basement parking and the surface parking as well that is supposed to be completed by the next site meeting. But most of our focus is going to be on the internal. Finishing out from the first to the fifth floor, if there's any tile work, if there are any corrections, that's, this is the period in which we'll be doing that. And then also concentrating on the ground floor, since that one is a new, if I should say, a new floor altogether that we are tackling. Most of the works, from plastering all the way to tiling are now taken off on that floor, okay, the so floor. the ground floor. Okay. So much concentration will be on that place as well. And with the first floor, we are going to start the installation of our doors so that we can start closing out every other thing. So it's not just the first floor, but I'm hoping to get to the third floor by the next meeting. God help me. God help you. Surely God help you. I kept saying that we we're saying we're going to end in December. Yes, please. Here we are in September. We are three months away. Yes, please. Sarah, what is the story? Encourage uh, us. Tell the, us the, the story is we we are not losing hearts. Because okay. with what has been done so far, much of the work has been done. Okay. Uh, the, the outstanding ones are just a few technicalities, corrections, and then installation of doors, windows. With that, it doesn't take as much time as much of the work that we have done so far. So Good. we are so still we are on course. Point. Yes, Make please. sure in December yes, we can come in and sit in our offices. <laughs> Very enjoy. much. Yes, Assemblies please. of God members can drive in here and yes, come and please. buy books and some many more. Yes, All right, please. that's good. Right. So thank you, Sarah. We are so You're grateful welcome. to have you. I'll be seeing you next month. Okay. Shalom. Right. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. All right, brothers, that was Sarah giving us some actuals. Thank you so much. Okay, I was expecting to meet Mr. Doku, but before that, let me encourage you. Let's keep pushing this thing. It's three months away, three solid months away. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep trusting. God is up to something. All right, for more details, I have the consultant, Mr. Samuel Doku, Okay, beautifully enough, he was at the General Council to give updates to them. <laughs> How did it go? I hope it went well. It went very well. All right, thank you. So, let's hear you out on the updates for today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I think at our last meeting, yes. we made some projections. Okay. I'm happy to inform you that all the projections were met. Ooh, okay. The tiles came from Italy and we've fixed the external tiles. We fixed okay. about 40% of it. By the next site meeting, we'll finish the frontage. The glazing, you see that we've done the first phase. We've done the second phase. Now that we've finished the concrete, we are coming to mount the scaffolding. So by the next site meeting, all the glass, the curtain wall will be done. We told you we were going to start the basement parking, about 25% of it. We've done the basement parking, we've done the top parking. I can see that. Then we are going to push again. We are going to push further. So half of this, by the next site meeting, you see that we've done the under and the top. So by the next meeting, everything there is done. When you go inside, you see that most of the work is done. Wow. Okay. Today, we've had a look at the sanitary fittings. Mm -hmm. We've looked at the electrical fittings already. Mm -hmm. So we'll start installation of the sanitary fittings. Okay. Okay. Tiling is virtually done okay. inside. Okay. So we are starting fixing the doors, the doors. Okay. all the wooden doors. Okay. The steel doors are also in, all of them. 
we fix all their frames, the cell door frames. So by as for the cell doors, they won't fix now. Because if paint touches it, it will soil it. So when we finish them, but internal doors, the toilet doors, the uh, guest room doors and everything will be fitted. Will be fitted. Wow. So when we come and then we are starting the balustrades too. Okay. Now that the two staircases are finished, mm. we are starting the balustrades, balustrades. Okay. on the staircases. staircases. And when they finish the balconies to the guest room, we go to the guest there. room and do okay. the wow. balustrade. So gradually we are getting to the end of the project. The only structural work left is this small concrete we are going to do here. Okay. But all structural work is finished. Okay. Now we are doing the finishing and we are running very fast okay. on it. By December, we know virtually everything will be done. done. Now we've started looking at the internal furniture, okay. fenestration. Okay. Today, I discuss it with GS. We've made drawings and estimates for all the guest rooms, the kitchen, the restaurant, mm. all the aging offices, mm. the conference room, the foyer, mm. and the minor. We have three minor conference mm. rooms. We've made the estimates, so we've given them to GS. If the go-ahead is given in the form of funds, then we will import all the internal fenestration mm. from Italy. Mm. So by December, if it comes on time, by December, when we are opening, commissioning the building, those furniture will also yeah. be in place. Wow. So we are running very fast, very fast. on the project. That's so, good. so far, so good. Excellent. Our only problem is money. It's money. Mm. It's money. So if we are hammering it so that it will not stop the yes. project. So that the churches will do their part mm. so that it will affect, affect this project. what we are mm. doing on site. Okay. Thank you very much Thank you and so God much. richly bless Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Doku. Mm. It's three months away. Are we on point? You said we are on we point. Are, we are on point. Excellent. So we need everybody to keep supporting this work. Wherever you are, watching this video, your support is needed in prayer and in finance. Come along and let's push this thing. We have a few months to go and the promise is to complete in December and handover. And we trust God that what we have trusted him for was going to come through. And we are trusting that every one of you, as you have been blessed, keep pushing and let's get this work completed in record time. God bless you all for staying in with us today. Mr. Doku, thank you so much. Thank you very we much. We trust sir. God that this testimony to complete this work in December Amen. will surely come through. Amen. I'll see you next month in our next Amen. video. Shalom. God bless you. Thank you, brothers and sisters. This has been Time with the Consultant. And thank you all for being with us today on this very episode of Assemblies of God, Head of His Diaries. It's been a lovely time. We are trusting God for greater things ahead. You've heard it all from all of them. We need more of your support. So come along. Let us give the best of our support. Let us believe God for something. Let us sow the seeds today. In the near future, we'll be reaping it. God bless you all. Shalom. Peace and life to you. We will talk again. Bye for now. Everybody.